Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Newport County versus Bradford City vlog now if you do go on to enjoy today's video if you could drop a like on it can we try and hit 80 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers trying to hit that by the end of the year so if you could subscribe that would be massively appreciated get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when I upload today we are looking to make it back to back wins I'm up at about seven o'clock today so fingers crossed we can make it back to that wind in terms of a score prediction I think it'll be one nil either way because we beat Rochdale though I'm gonna go be confident and I'm gonna go with a one nil to Bradford City I'm gonna go with maybe Aboisa there's a lot of rumors well not a lot of rumors to be honest Jamie Rayner pretty much said that there's no chance of Aboisa being involved in the squad but Derek Adams also said that about Theo Robinson last week against Rochdale. So I think Issa might be on the bench today. He might come off the bench and maybe grab the winner. Fingers crossed we can make it back to back wins. You know, it's not an easy place to go is Newport. But make sure you drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well. And I shall see you all at Rodney Parade. Derek Adams, drop it on me. Derek Adams, drop it on me. Oh my god, that...
Half time, no nil. What a terrible half from both sides. Half time change. Robinson's coming on for Frel Keller. I presume Sutton at right back. Uh, maybe Cook sent him in 4 4 2. Felkel looks to have gone off with an injury though, but perhaps sort of right back's a bit stinky. Sutton's right back, we've got no energy. So we've got we've got no energy. No cross, no cross, no cross! Fucking snap! You're scrubbing! No. Oh my god, Songo, you are real. Well, it's Songo. We're not the same without you. It's just me, your balls, like you do. You're the midfield maestro, the best in me, too. Songo. Songo. Yeah, I'd say so, but we're not famous anymore. When Bradford run the country like we've always done before. Evans is coming oh, on for Burnham. Out, yeah. I don't really know what's going on. Here we go. Get out, get out, get out! That's a song go out. Get down! You know what you are! Sheep shagging bastards! You know what you are! Why the fuck have we played for a point? Full time, nil nil. Terrible. Well then, that wasn't idea, was it? Up at 7 o'clock, back home at 10, £50 spent on ticket and travel, all for a nil nil to watch us play for a point, which is very frustrating. So next time, Derek Adams, if we're going to play for a point, can you let the fans know before the game? Going forward today, we were absolutely shocking. Defensively, I thought we were actually all right. I thought Pordy and Songo were the only two players to be above a 5 out of 10. Everyone else I thought was really, really poor. The injury to Threlkeld, which meant Sutton had to go to right back and the change of formation really did kind of messes around. Robinson came on at half time. He touched the ball about three times. Didn't really do a fat lot with it. And about 20 minutes into the, the second half, he brought Vernon off for Gareth Evans, which Evans got booed onto the pitch. I don't know how Gilead managed to last the 90 minutes. I thought he was absolutely terrible today. 
Andy Cook as well, absolutely terrible, got pocketed by the Newport defenders. I don't know how Newport didn't win the game. Songo cleared one off the line, then they had a free header from about two, three yards out, which they counted against the crossbar. Newport deserved to win the match, but very disappointing day, to be honest, for the money that we spent, the time that we travelled. Really, really not happy with that one. But we move on to next week's game at home to Bristol Rovers. We're back at home, undefeated at home, but Bristol Rovers won 3 0 today, so it's definitely not going to be a tough game. But if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like on it. As I said at the start of the video, if you've got it 80 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Trying to hit that by the end of the year, so if you could subscribe, that would be massive, massively appreciated. Hit your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when it uploads. Have a great rest of your day, and I shall see you all in the next video. Peace.